Well, good morning, folks. Put on my apron. Oh, here's one. Still another frosty morning this morning up here in Vermont. It's uh, 20 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Got a little chilly. Went outside for a minute to dump some stuff into my composter and all that compost is pro solid. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What am I doing? Well, here I've got about eight or nine apples all cut up. Um, I don't like my apples too sweet. But I'm going to make some apple pie filling for the holidays here. Then I got some cannon jars. I'll put them in the cannon jars. <coughs> and the things I'm going to need is uh, I got about a cup of brown sugar here. I got three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. I have uh, four and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. I've got a big tablespoon of uh, cinnamon. I got a dash of salt. I've got some uh, semi heavy cream. It isn't the heaviest, but it's all they had, so I'll use it. And I got a stick of butter. Well, the first thing I got to do is get this butter melted. So I'll throw it in the pot here. Now, let's see, I'm going to need a stirrer. Here's my red one here. This one will do. Boy, them jelly donuts turned out really nice yesterday. They can be addictive. That's why I only made 12 of them, because I know if I had more, I'd be eating them. Fortunately, my son ate four of them, so he's kind of my food tester. If he, but he can eat most anything anyway, so. Get this all melted. It's kind of a simple recipe. There's really not much to it, but more just getting things cooked down. Get about half of it melted. Haven't been doing my driving around as much as I was. Of course, in cold weather, I don't. So I resort to doing some cooking. I don't know. This should make a couple of pies anyway. Got my marching orders for Thanksgiving. They said, make sure it's none of that store-bought apple filling. Make your homemade one. You know what, they could tell the difference too if I try to get that other stuff, but. There. Now what I'm gonna do is add my apples. I usually eat at least an apple a day, sometimes more. I kinda like glad Adam and Eve found those apples. There's a lot of stirring in this video.
Let me see here. I got one of these other spoons that is a little more stiff. That might work a little better. Yeah, nothing like a stiff one. Don't bend. Oh, I bend down a little. Let's make sure all that butter is all mixed all through them. All right. That was simple enough. Now I'm adding my brown sugar. Get every last drop. Turn on the stir matic Pretty well coated. Now my regular sugar, three quarters of a cup. Throw that in there. basically making a caramel looks like caramel covered apples that, that pretty well makes in now I'm going to add my cinnamon good old heaping tablespoon of that I think yesterday when I said one of my ingredients, I accidentally said cinnamon, but I meant to say nutmeg. I said it right at the end of the video, but that was for the donuts. Gotta watch me. Yeah. Boy, this is gonna be good. Boy, don't that smell good, though. Mmm. that all mixed in the next thing I'm gonna put my dash of salt in put away my stuff and that leaves salt put away Use my milk and cornstarch, which I'm going to add in after it cooks down a little bit. I'll add that in. Let's see if I get you a little closer without knocking you all over the place. There. Don't those look good? Mm.
Okay, I'm gonna let that cook a little while and then I'll come back on and show you the last end of it. Well, we're getting close there. I like to think of when I boil this, it looks a lot like maple syrup boiling. Get down to that sugary content area. That's why I know it's about ready to add my other ingredients there. Now I'm gonna add my cream. I combed it down. I almost reached for my coffee to dump in there. Wouldn't that have been fun? That would have been coffee flavored apple. I wonder how that would taste. That would probably be pretty good. Wouldn't surprise me if I did that. Me being me, of course. There's my cornstarch. I think I told you like four tablespoons of that. That's a... My thickening agent. Just keep stirring it. Almost like a thick gravy in there. Oh, mm, that aroma, I tell you, that don't beat all. I'll smell this all day. Just look at the thickness of this. That's what you want right there. Hmm. See that? That they hold together. Scraping my pan again. I hope that fella don't holler at me. You can't do that. That's tough long. You're going to ruin it. Well, I'd be using cast iron if I had them, but unfortunately, I've been through too many wives and lost them somewhere in the process, so... And they're kind of expensive to buy the set these days. I had my mother's set. But I think she bought them in the 30s. Probably a little cheaper back then. A long time ago. Oh yes, that was wonderful. Apples are getting cooked down the way I like them. Mm. And what I have is a couple of cannon jars. I'm going to put those in. <clears throat> what I do is uh, heat up my jars so that it doesn't give them a jar shock when I put them in there because uh, you could end up breaking your glass if you don't warm them up. You wouldn't want that. If you add glass in apple pie, it's not good for cleaning your teeth. So that is done. 
well you can see it from there but let's get a little closer see how that's thick Ooh, steaming you up steamer reamer So, I hope you enjoyed this one. You know, when you're thinking that, oh, I gotta get some of that apricot filling, just remember how easy this is to make. And you can do it. If this old part can do it, you sure can too. Well, I guess I've done enough gabbing. If you guys got any good recipes, like I said, my email is, or, or my mail address is in my description there somewhere. And uh, send them to me. I like trying different stuff. As long as it's not expensive food to buy, because I can't afford to buy the, a lot of expensive stuff. I don't know how much money I got invested in them uh, spices, but I don't know if you can see my spice rack. adds up to a lot of money not only that it's all over the stove but once you have them then you just keep them up and uh, you'll have more in hand for most stuff all right well this is Pop Key saying I hope you had a good time I'll see you on the next